Freda Achroiso. Good morning and welcome to our morning prayer today. My name is Rianne and I'm part of St Teresa's Rosnaiga, which is part of the mission here on Anglesey and Ismorn. We in the Oblet family and community are so grateful that you have joined us so that we can share God's word together and comfort and support one another by praying together and living as a community of faith and hope. As we celebrate the gift of our faith, let us remember in a special way those who may be isolated. Let us also take a moment to pray for the gift of peace, which is so needed in many parts of our world. Let us begin our time of prayer together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of our journeying, inviting us to travel with you, forgive us when we cling to our outworn security, afraid to let go of what is safe and familiar. Give us courage to take the risk of answering your call into joyous adventure. I would like to now share with you a reading from today's scriptures. I will read it twice with a short pause in between so as to help God's word find a home in our hearts. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. This short parable should speak to many people far more than they realise. It should be a source of great encouragement to us all as we seek to build up the kingdom of God through apostolic works. A mustard seed is very small. At first, when someone holds it in their hand, they may not think much of it, but if they did plant it under ideal conditions, that seed could grow into a tree upwards of 20 feet tall. Jesus uses this parable to teach us many lessons. One such lesson is that of our apostolic works of charity. When you think of the call of being an apostle for the Lord, spreading the gospel to the ends of the earth, what comes to mind? Perhaps the first thought is of those who have been entrusted with a very large, public and vibrant ministry. In this case, it is easier to see the good fruit born of one's apostolic works. But what about you? For most people, they may strive to love and serve others in every small way they can and they fail to see the abundance of good fruit born from their efforts. When this happens, some may become discouraged and lose zeal for the spreading of the gospel. If this is you, then consider the mustard seed. Planting this small seed is representative of much of our, of our apostolic endeavours. God calls us to do small acts of kindness, share our faith in, certain, in subtle and even hidden ways. If this is you, then consider the mustard seed. Planting this small seed is representative of much of our apostolic endeavours. God calls us to do small acts of kindness, share our faith in subtle and even hidden ways. Serve out of love, even when it's unnoticed, and to do so without ceasing. Do these small acts bear fruit for the kingdom of God? If you believe this parable of the mustard seed, then the answer must be a resounding yes. Many times in life, we will never see the full effects that our actions have on others. Our negative influences will affect them far more than we realise and our loving acts of charity 
by which we share our faith will also affect people far more than we realise. Believing in the message of this parable of the mustard seed should lead us to believe that planting those small seeds of faith throughout our charity, virtues and words, will indeed bear an abundance of good fruit, far more than we may ever know, until we enter the glories of heaven. Reflect today upon your duty to daily plant the smallest seeds of faith and love. Do not get discouraged if your efforts do not bear abundant obvious fruit. Simply commit yourself to the planting over and over. Take delight in sowing the seed of faith and see this as your mission. As we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us pray together as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Today may I give and receive love. Today may I work for justice. Today may I listen and pray. Today may I sing God's praises. Today may I delight in God's beauty. Today and every day, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus has shown you how to love your enemies and neighbours. May you seek to be peacemakers and to live in God's light. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Diolch am y minnau hefo ni heddiw.